to Space Explorers Between the Lines in three, two, one, go. It's our 20th qualification match of the day, and it starts off with six robots in motion during the sandstorm period. Team 22-28, Cougar Tech successfully placing a hatch panel on the cargo ship for the Blue Alliance as Red Alliance robot. Team 2010, the Lightning Bots, they've got a hatch panel in their grab, but they are quickly dispossessed by some tough defense from the Warbots. Over on the far side, Rocket, for the Red Alliance, Bad Robots is what they call their team, but I don't think there's a bad robot in sight. They go all the way up to level three, trying to just correctly line up that hatch panel. On this far side, Red Alliance Rocket, we'll see if they can place it. Looks like it's gonna stay. Over on the Blue Alliance side, Team 2228, Cougar Tech seems to be hung up on a piece of cargo. The Titanium Allies are over there trying to help them right themselves. Some a great display of gracious professionalism here as one Blue Alliance robot knocks the other one off the cargo and both robots can continue to operate successfully. Great move by the Titanium Allies to help out their Alliance partner, Cougar Tech, who quickly places a hatch panel. On the Red Alliance side, the far side of the cargo ship, Hype places a piece of cargo, but they're quickly rammed into by the Warbots. And now the Warbots signaled for a technical foul. Team 41-45, that was. We'll see exactly what adjustments they'll have to make to their driving strategy. After the match, we'll find out what that tech foul is. It is indeed a G20 for contact inside an opponent's frame perimeter, one that we've seen an awful lot so far today. 52-54 hype for the Red Alliance. Their shot just misses on the cargo ship. Looking over toward the Blue Alliance side as teams prepare for the end game. Cougar Tech looks to be almost all the way up, trying to get themselves to level three. We'll see if they can right things and push it all the way up. Their teammates, the Warbots, are on level two. Couple robots trying to get up for the Red Alliance as we hit three, two, one, and time expires. Looks like all six robots should get points for some sort of habitat. In this match, 61 to 40. In addition to the yellow card issued, there was also G13 at the end of the match, which states during the final 30 seconds, a robot may not contact an opponent robot that is fully contained